people, it's me! I am Alex. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about my November favorites. Yay! First things first, I've started to learn a lot about hair products because I recently just did a photo shoot and the dude doing my hair was like, oh, use this, it's amazing. And I'm like, oh, you're right, it is. So, first thing I'm going to talk about is texture spray. You guys can't judge me because I'm learning about these things. I never started out as a beauty guru, so I didn't know about these things like everyone else did in the very beginning. But I'm telling you, if you're in the same boat that I am and you're learning with me, then you should totally get texture spray for your hair. This is AG Hair Cosmetics texture spray. What it does is it gives your hair a good grip and that way you can style your hair a lot easier. You can tease it easier. Basically you can just do more things with it. So if you've just washed your hair and you're trying to curl it and sometimes it doesn't curl the way you want it to like it does the next day, you spray some of this stuff in there. Um, not too much. And what it does is just gives it a nice grip, some nice texture on your hair. So I'd recommend this. This one's awesome. It's from AG Cosmetics and it's color care since I have a little bit of color on my hair. Yes, that is right, I do. Next for the hair I'm going to talk about Redken Smooth Lock Heat Glide. Yes, I use this on my hair. I like it better than a spray. I used to have a Chi spray. It's like an iron guard. You put this on your hair after you get out of the shower when your hair is a little bit damp. You do about two squirts, two to three squirts in your hand. Put it on the ends of your fingers and you just kind of rub it in towards the bottom of your hair like so. And the rest, the residue, kind of throughout the top of your head. And what this does is it protects against heat. So a hair dryer or a curler or a straightener and it makes your hair nice and shiny and and smooth and this stuff actually really really does. <laughs> It's awesome. I love it. Yay. Next with hair, I've always been a chi kind of girl. And uh, I decided since I accidentally broke my hair straightener in Germany, I tried to plug it into my electrical thing converter and it just kind of ended up breaking. So I got a new one in the States. This is Hot Tools. Oh, Hot Tools is an amazing, amazing brand for hair styling. Um, it's a little bit expensive, but it is not as expensive as a chi. That is the cool thing. Is this thing is amazing. In my opinion, I like it better than a chi. Well, this is a straightener this is a curler but I also got a, a hot tool straightener that I really love this is awesome it's one inch this is what my hair looks like after using it I love it because it gives kind of this like natural waviness almost like a beach wave but I think you can find this for like 60 to 80 dollars at an Ulta um, I would highly recommend getting a hot tools spending a little extra money for one of these because it will last you a long time and they do wonders on your hair now on to makeup oh yeah so my sister told me about this face product and it is a mineral wear correcting primer. I don't remember exactly what brand it is, but I remember that it was a, probably like a Maybelline or a CoverGirl or something like that. And I got it at an Ulta. You could probably get one at a Walmart or a Target or something. You just kind of brush it on your entire face. It also has some SPF 15. So for those of you trying to take care of your face so you don't get old and get wrinkles, then I would highly suggest one of these because honestly, it just kind of evens everything out on your face. It corrects little blemishes on your face before you put on your foundation and um, it also stays on longer again late to the game I know also, what I just bought recently at a Sephora, but you could probably also get in an Ulta or something, a makeup store, is this Urban Decay Razor Sharp Ultra Definition Finishing Powder. Now this thing is awesome. It took me a second to figure out how to use it. And uh, it's amazing. It kind of just takes away any blemish on your face. It smooths everything out so it looks like you almost have been photoshopped a little bit. Ooh, what is that hair? That's just doing something. Uh, but in a good way. You've got that finishing touch, that camera ready look. You kind of just pat it on your face and it's awesome. And I'm wearing it now. Look at me. So next, guys, I know that you know that I like lipstick. I haven't been wearing the red lipstick in a while because I didn't feel like it was the right color for my face. Then I finally found the perfect red lipstick. And because it's fall, getting into winter, red lipstick is classy and nice. It's very nice for this winter, winter season. Now this one is amazing. I found it at Sephora. The brand is Bite, and what it is is it's this dark, beautiful red, and it's a very, very classic, vintage red look and it's just what I've been wanting forever. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's simple but it's classy and I love it. And to go with it that I love probably even more than the lipstick is this lip cream. It's this cashmere lip cream and it's the color of Rioja <laughs> from Bite as well. What you do is you just put it on your lips after you put on your lipstick and it makes your lips look freaking amazing. Just creamy and voluptuous and amazing. Now my next favorite thing, moving on to the uh, clothing items, my first ever beanie. Yay! I've never really worn a beanie except 
from when I was probably like five. Um, but this is really adorable. And honestly, you can wear it if you're having a bad hair day and you can still look freaking cute and you can pull off because it's winter time. So uh, why not get a beanie, guys? It is adorable. And uh, I got this at American Eagle. I'm sure you can get them anywhere. Next, I got these. They are high knee socks and you wear them with boots. And if you kind of peek them up over your knee a little bit, right above the boot, it looks really cute and kind of finishes your look very, very well. I got these at American Eagle as well. They are white and kind of sparkly and I have fallen madly, madly in love with them. And they're good for winter. So there you go. Why not, why not get them? That's right. Now next, of course, you gotta have the comfy, cozy sweatshirt pullover thing. And I got this from Victoria's Secret. It's just freaking cozy and it's also cute. Now these shoes, I don't know what season, you can probably wear them for any season depending on where you live, but I put them in my last video but I wanna talk about them again because I get a lot of compliments and I feel really fashionable because I feel like I'm from like Europe or something because I think it's a trend that started in Europe, in London and is coming over here. Oxfords, Oxfords, look at these. How freaking adorable are these shoes? I mean seriously, I mean come on. I mean please, I mean really, I mean like, like, you know, like, I mean, yeah. Get, get them, yay. And you can wear them with skirts, you can wear them with jeans. All you have to do is roll up the jeans just a little bit and they look so, so, so cute. I'm lucky, again, I live in LA and what is my hair doing? Ah, I can just hear the comments now. Last but not least, some of my favorite little things. Number one, I mean, did you see it yet? Did you see this? Did you buy one? Did you get it? Peter Hollins and I are on this. Actually, I don't think we are on the physical version, but we are on iTunes on the Disney Classics box set. And uh, I got to work for Disney and I got this in the mail. They sent me this and I'm so incredibly happy about it because it is... Well, I do love Disney. I did not mean to break my things in the process of telling you that. I'm on the same CD as Julie Andrews and I don't know how to feel about that except for pure just happiness and excitement. Next. So I went to Germany and uh, I got this. Look at it. It's a calendar with of me. It's a calendar of me. Oh my gosh. This just makes me so happy. I got it from this lovely, lovely, amazing girl named Leah, and she was at one of the German shows, and I am excited about it because she brought me this sweet calendar. It's so adorable, and I love it. You're an amazing girl and an amazing fan, so thank you. And she is one of the uh, official admins of Alex G Street Team, so go follow them on Twitter and on Facebook. All right, everyone, so those are my favorite things of November of 2013 and um oh I can't forget this I'm sorry I didn't mean to almost forget this but I have to tell you my favorite thing of just forever of every single month just just take this as this is my favorite thing in the whole world it's Lucy and Carol in one picture and it's mine so if you've never seen I Love Lucy, you have to watch it because whenever I'm sad or having a bad day or just needs some pick me up, I watch I Love Lucy or The Carol Burnett Show. They're both equally incredible and my favorite people in the entire universe. And if I ever get to meet Carol Burnett, I will probably pee my pants. And it's the only time I will fangirl that much in my whole entire life. So guys, I guess that's it for today on my November favorites. If you have a suggestion for a video for me to do, go ahead and put that in the comment section below and I will get started on that one as soon as I can. I'm currently in the middle of writing my original album. That is taking up a lot of my time. I had no idea it was gonna be this busy, but I am very busy. So uh, I'm gonna try my best to do more of these videos. All right guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.